Hello again, and right now I'm going to talk about bullying and having a cleft lip and a palate and ear and everything like that. Um, so on the outside, you can see I have a cleft lip and um, as well as I have a cleft palate. Um, 19 screws, four plates, uh, tubes in my ears. Um, I've had like 12 surgeries, nose revis revis <laughs> revisions, um, lip stuff, all the works. Um, but first off, we're probably, and I was my biggest bully on myself growing up. Um, no, I didn't have long hair. Uh, then actually growing up. I think I had a bowl cut first and then I had spiky hair in elementary school up until high school when I started growing this out. Um, and so we are our biggest bullies. You know, I was fortunate enough not to have like a big bully problem. Yeah, I had uh, a few issues back in um, high school, you know, but who doesn't have high school issues? period because everyone's different and so some people you know when and some people are just curious and so you shouldn't take that as bullying some people just want to know what it is or why your uh, face isn't symmetrical though every person's nostrils and ear holes and stuff like that aren't actually for a lot of the time perfectly symmetrical and one fits bigger than the other and some people have longer fingers on one side than the other um so don't take people and i used to you know uh, just because i was already had my self-consciousness about my cleft lip and my appearance and everything like that back then so when someone would ask about it i I didn't like it. I didn't like talking about it. And it would be like the pink elephant in the room, you know. I had already been putting out so much energy to, you know, forget about it my whole life and just be who I am and um, everything like that. To just be who I am and not let something like that affect me socially or in work or um, in school and anything like that. So, being a bully to yourself is not going to help, and uh, I know we've all probably looked in the mirror and gotten upset, and that's probably the worst thing you can do is be upset. Your parents have probably been upset at one point. One of them has, you know, probably when they're first finding out because they were going to know the trials of everything you're going to be going through, or if you are a parent, yeah, of everything that your kid's going to be going through and so being a bully on yourself does not help anything because what is that going to help you're just going to feel sad for yourself and that doesn't help anything um and so when people do ask you questions they just want to know what it is and so just tell them about them be like hey i was born with this birth defect you know um where the last uh phase of my face forming then it come together and everything like that and let them know about it but i was fortunate enough to where i didn't let my cleft lip hold me back socially or anything like that um and back then i would always smile because it would keep my uh lip pulled tight to where it wouldn't um bunch up if i weren't smiling um and uh, back in high school, I'll make another video about cutting your beard to shape for <laughs> your lips because you have to do it a few different ways to make sure that your beard looks fine when you do smile because you got to do it a few different ways. I used to wear makeup as well. Though, I don't know, I did get called a few names. I think <laughs> there was one or two times when I didn't do it correctly because no one showed me how to wear makeup or anything like that. I was just covering up my scar a little bit because I was pretty tan and so then uh, the scar doesn't like the tan and so I would just slightly cover that up otherwise I had this kind of like <laughs> reflective 
white scar, kind of like when the light hits a piece of glass from the sun, hits you correctly, it's just going to be sticking out a little bit, kind of like this spot right here on my forehead with the light. And so it would just be all shiny. And so I would wear a, a foundation to cover that up. And I think one or two times I didn't wear that correctly, so that caused bullying a little bit. Um, <laughs> not applying makeup correctly which is totally fine if you want to do that and tan do you man and um so don't let bullies affect you and who needs them and and they're just it's different to them they're not used to it and people get scared and question things and when something's different to someone else that's when people make fun of it because it's different and they don't know about it and stuff like that so don't let other people's um, indifference uh, get you down so that's what i have on that so thank you again for watching and i hope that this video helped you a little bit